Hello everyone, my name is Jade, and we're gonna start today off by resuming where we left off last time. In Lydia, very heavy game. Right now... Oh, I'm going downstairs. Okay, I couldn't seem- I- I kinda tried, just at, like shortly before this, to go in under the bed or in the closet, and nothing happened. And so I guess we're finally gonna go see what the fuck the adults are up to. Come on. It's <laughs> having a little bit of trouble responding to my A pressing. So this is like the tree forest that she was seeing before. There's all these people getting fucking hammered at her house. Shit, man. Now we're seeing like the real life allusion to the things she's been seeing in her dreams. Except for that last one. That last one was very, very real and not an illusion. Uh, illusion with an A, by the way. Not illusion with an I. Or I guess, would they be illusions or metaphors? Either way, this is fucked. Uh. Hey! What are you doing here? I had no uh, idea they were kids. Uh, Look, you don't have to worry. Uh, we're just having a wee bit of fun. Uh, Everything's under control here. Uh, Liar! You should go back to bed. Curtis. I, um, I'm uh, afraid. No, don't be silly. We're having a good uh, time. No need for worries. Now off to bed. Hey, mister. I can't sleep because of the noise. That's too bad. Have you tried hard enough? Well, yes. Go try a bit harder, okay? I can't sleep because of the noise. Don't get cocky with me. It's not like this happens every night. You know, you start to piss me off. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Oh, he left. Good heavens, it's way past your bedtime. Why are you still up? I'm too scared to go to sleep. Oh no, I had no idea we were keeping you up. But it's very late, you should get back to your room. I tried to get sleep, but I just can't. Hmm, maybe I should get going. I don't want to keep you awake. You take care of yourself, okay? Okay. See, that person is sensible and is aware that you shouldn't have a rager when you're raising kids. Especially if it's a small child who needs 14 hours of sleep, I believe? I don't know, kids need like so much more sleep because they are growing human beings. Psst. Hey, you, come here. Could you fetch me a drink? I've got a good thing going here, if you know what I mean. I, I can't go in the kitchen. Wait a minute, you're a kid! Where are your parents? I don't know. This is so irresponsible. I'm gonna get out of here before someone calls the police. As you should. I mean, but also you should probably be the person to call the police once you find out that there is a child in a party full of drug adults. Drug adults who may not know this child or may not know the parents very well or who might just be very skeevy, suspicious people. <laughs> Not that all adults are, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I don't- I can't imagine myself or any of my friends ever having, like, ragers with our kids in the house. You know what I mean? I have a very hard time imagining this happening either. Like, I just in general. I don't feel so good. Are you alright? That last one was too much. I feel terrible. Are, are you all right? Urgh, don't worry. 
Nope. Hand me a towel. Fuck. This happens every time. Time to put the cap on. So, I believe we're still looking for our parents here. Or something. Oh, I can't move. Is something happening? Or are we just having a slow zoom? Wait! Oh, Teddy! I'm sorry for everything, but you've got to trust me on this. Please, don't go outside. There's nothing but tears. Teddy, you didn't keep your promise. I know. And it breaks my heart. It really does. But you've got to trust me on this. Teddy, I have no reason to trust you right now. What's outside? Look. The monster wasn't what I expected, but I know what it is. It's alcohol. Don't go out there. I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, Teddy. I can't move. That already happened. Okay, this just got... I don't know why, but that made this feel way more real than anything else that's happened thus far. I know, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to see the monster. Okay, but alone. Okay. <sighs> Goodbye, Teddy. Goodbye. This is gonna get very real. I think. Beep. Fuck. There's nothing here. What? Oh. Oh my god. What is this? It's like a giant... What is... What am I looking... It's like one of those big, like, Victorian dresses. Oh yeah, and then the... The theater masks, and what is that? Oof. Oh my god. I just... I just saw where Lydia is. It's so fucking huge. Well, well. I heard you were looking for me. What took you so long? Um, so, what are you doing here? You don't scare me. Oh, really? You don't fool me. You should shiver to your bones. I've tried my best, given you everything. But you just keep dis on disappointing me. Is it her mom? No matter what I do, how hard I try, it's all about you. You think it's all about you, don't you? For once, step into my shoes and think what I've been through. What I had to suffer. I did it all for you. And for what? Shame on you. What did I do? Isn't it obvious? Do I have to spell it out for you? What? I can't believe you. You honestly don't know what this is all about. This is ridiculous. Don't you see? You've ruined everything. You've forced my hand. I wouldn't be here if it went for you. I'm sick because of you. You really think I enjoy what I need to do just to survive? I'm the victim here. I live in hell, day in, day out. If it weren't for you, I'd still be married. I wouldn't be alone, and I wouldn't feel miserable all the time. 
I wouldn't be sick. I wouldn't have to do this. Do you think I enjoy this? Um, yes. Speak your mind. And don't mumble like that. This is your fault, not mine. You forced my hand. I, um, just save it. I'm tired of your excuses. It's always someone else's fault. You can't take any kind of responsibility. You just don't understand what it's like to live with this disease. I didn't choose this. I've had enough of you. You're the worst thing that's happened to me. You stole everything from me. I've given you my life, and for what? To be left alone, old, broken, and sick. I never asked for this. Get angry. It's not my fault. Be quiet. I can't take it anymore. Why do you do this to me? You just take and take and take. Until there's nothing left to give. To tell the truth, I wish you were never born. If I could do it all over again, I would change it all. Good. You better cry. You see? You'll find the monster just by looking at the mirror. This is not my fault. It's all you're doing. Fuck. You should have stopped me. But you weren't there. But I guess it all worked out for you. You finally got what you wanted, didn't you? What have you done? How dare you look at me like that? Here I am, lying half dead on a hospital bed. And you dare look at me like that? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should look in a mirror. Don't you understand? I had no choice but to take those pills. And you weren't there to stop me. You've no idea what I've been through. And there you are. Staring and judging me. I feel miserable enough already. I almost died. Can't you see? This was a cry for help. <sighs> but you don't care about that. No, this is all about you. What do you have to make- Why do you have to make everything about yourself? This isn't about you. It's me who's hurt, not you. Why don't- You don't care about anyone else but yourself, you know? It's the other way around. I've always been that way. Nonsense. I've given everything to you, and this is how you think me? I'm your mother, not some sort of monster. You're the most precious thing to me, and I can prove it to you. I've got a box full of photos. It wasn't all bad. You really think that a box full of photos will make everything alright? Just look at them. Those were good times. We were all happy. You, me, your father. Everything was perfect. You can't be serious. I don't recognize myself in any of those photos. I can tell that without even looking at them. You just don't get it. But if you just- No. This is it for me. I can't take it anymore. Goodbye. Don't go, please. I'm done with you. Wait! Come back. Get back here. You can't blame me for this. Just look at the photos. I did the best I could. You'll see. If you just look at the photos. Those were the good times.
that's it for Lydia. I guess these are all the photos the mom was talking about. But if you'll notice, these are all photos of Lydia before she's even old enough to really remember anything. And before her dad left and her mom became an alcoholic. Honestly, you should you should never feel responsible for other people's choices in life. Nor are you. You are not responsible for other people's choices in life, even your parents. And you're not responsible for their happiness either. And that's the game. I am... Um, wow, there's a lot to be said about that, but I think the only thing I can say is... If you have been a situ in a situation like that, know you're not alone. Um, and know that it's... It's more common than you think for people to struggle with um, substance abuse. Especially when they feel that they have no control of their life. It's a way for them to give up more control and not have to take responsibility in their minds. And that you are not responsible for someone else. Whether it's substance abuse or other choices in life or whether or not they try to commit suicide. Like, you are not responsible for other people's choices no matter what they tell you. And a few good moments in your life doesn't make up for all the bad ones. And a few good moments with someone doesn't make up for all the things they've, they may have done to you. With that being said, I, I again encourage anyone who wants to, to get this game, if you want, or if not, to donate to the Lydia Donation. It goes towards helping kids who are in situations and families like this. And, um, and with that, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.